Hey -o, everybody, so when last we left off with Tower of God, right before we went into this hiatus, Yisracha left us off with something cool, just kind of dropping that he's just going to have everybody in 1v1 fights. This is something that I'm kind of excited about whenever we get back from hiatus, because uh, 1v1 fights are something that I think I'd like to see more of in Tower of God, just given CU's track record with them in the past, uh, like Bomb vs. Kaiser, or Ron vs. Inietta, or Bomb vs. Data Jihad, or just recently um, having White vs. Kalavan, which was amazing. So all of these things are great. Uh, so I wanted to do a video, and I don't even know if I'd want to call this predictions, because they're not necessarily what I think will happen, but these are sort of the pairings that I want to see happen. Uh, I want to discuss who I think I want to see have a 1v1 fight, and against whom, uh, from the 4th and 5th squadron. Not just from uh, Yisracha's group that we're about to fight right now, but just in general as the arc goes along. Um... And because of that, there is one premise I'm working with here. Again, these aren't necessarily predictions. They're not necessarily what I think is most likely, but rather what I would most want to see. Um, I personally don't really want Kalavan's group to fight with Yisracha's group. I just kind of want Bomb's group to say, okay, now we're past this wall. We'll handle Yisracha's group because Bomb's group, especially Yama and his people, they are the ones who want to fight Yisracha's group. There is build up there, and I know Yisracha and Kalavan have technically had scenes together, but there's no real long-term story going there with the two of them having conflict. I just want them to say, hey Kalavan, you take your group, you go and fight the new fourth squadron that um, Liboric has set up, because there is a ton to mine there story-wise with Kalavan's group. Not only Kalavan taking his position back as the squadron commander, but also sort of some of the people under Kalavan who have survived proving themselves that Liborg said, oh, I've put together stronger a stronger squadron anyway. No, let Kalavan's people prove that he brought together the strongest squadron. Let them prove themselves by fighting the people that Liborg brought together. Uh, so storyline-wise, I'm sort of working under the hope that Kalavan's group is going to be going against the 4th squadron, whereas the 5th squadron will be against everybody else. Uh, also, just a side thing to bring up, uh, there's no way that I can predict some of the characters we're going to see on both sides of this conflict, because we still don't know what other sort of branch heads, or even if the family head could show up later on. Uh, we will see from the Lopobia family or anybody else on Zahard's army side of things, and we have no idea who else might show up to help Bomb's group. Uh, so because of that, uh, there's some things I can't predict. And I did think about Macheny, since she's already here, who would be best to fight against Macheny if nobody else shows up and we're just working with characters involved here. I think it could be interesting if, I don't know, maybe this is too similar to a One Piece situation, but if they do rescue Jinsung, Jinsung fights Macheny, Macheny gets the kill off on Jinsung. That would really, really harshly develop Bomb by rescuing his master just to have him die. Um, but who knows? I think Jinsung versus Macheny. I That's the best I can come up with other than just, oh yeah, White fights a bunch of other characters and eventually he fights Macheny because he's fought a princess before, which is really, like, loose. I think Jinsung versus Macheny might be the coolest matchup. Uh, when it comes to fighting, because we never really, truly got to see Jinsung and Macheny fight. Uh, as far as the 4th Squadron goes, I'll go ahead and get that out of the way since I mentioned it before. We see four silhouettes, presumably four new commanders, uh, when Kalavan is talking, or when Liboric is talking about having put together a new, better squadron that's waiting behind the wall anyway. Um... So I think for the four new commanders, have Sharon fight one. I want to see Sharon get a fight, have her prove her place as one of the people that Kalavan brought together. Same with Chonhee. Chonhee is being treated as kind of the most important ally to um, Kalavan lately, so just let Chonhee get a fight. 
Um, I say give a fight to Yolker. The guy really needs to prove himself after getting punked by White. Um, but he was the one that was sent to apprehend Yuan Sung, which means that Kalavan and the army must think a bit of him because we know from season one that Zahard's forces view um, Yu Han Sung as, oh wow, you're the famous, like, genius wave controller. Um, so they know just how strong Yu Han Sung could be, and they sent um, Yolker after him. So let Yolker have a fight against one of the new commanders. Uh, let him uh, redeem himself a little bit. And then as for the fourth and last one, you could either give the fight to Kalavan, which is what I put first when I was like taking just a little bit of notes to get my thoughts down. I was like, oh yeah, let Kalavan fight him. Let Kalavan take out one of the commanders. Have that as the stepping stone before the big fight where Kalavan fights Liboric. Uh, but you could give that fight to Dorian and have Dorian Frog say, step up, be like, okay, I was a vice commander, let me show what I can really do, I'm a high ranker, let me step up to that next level and sort of prove myself. Or we could have Nyono Wan, who is probably still alive, but who really cares about Nyono Wan? Is there anybody who has cared about this ET looking guy? Um... So yeah, I don't know, Nuno Wan just uh, is kind of in the background. You could give that fight to them the same way you gave them, gave a fight to Sharon and Chonhee, just as one of the surviving commanders. Um, and the reason I said Dorian is because the only other vice commander I think we've seen from that group was uh, Kul Nassam K, and we already know Kul Nassam K is just a jobber comedy character. Um... And then, of course, it leads to the big main event of Liboric versus Calavan. Now, as for the more immediate stuff, when we're talking about the 5th Squadron under Yisracha. So, Bomb, a lot of people I saw in my comments and stuff were like, oh, Bomb versus Nanatona would be a good matchup. Um, it lets Bomb fight a ranker and stuff. And I do think that's true. It is like, I don't know, Bomb had to struggle to beat the test ranker pan and that was just recently so i don't know if bomb should be like really really taking on a ranker who's an army commander or anything like that right now 1v1 um it's possible but i would actually pref something i'd actually prefer to see we saw they summoned two of those big monsters and love killed one of them I would love to see Bomb against the other giant monster that's in the... It's it's even with the rest of the soldiers and the important characters in that final panel uh, before we went on break. So Bomb versus that monster, I think, is what I would most want to see for him fighting. Um, as for Nanatona, who is a ranker rather than a high ranker, unlike the other like main uh, division commanders, I would like to see... Here's the thing. It depends... I'd like to see Love versus Nanatona. I think Mule Love versus Nanatona would be a good matchup. I would like to see that. But here's the thing. I don't know if now that we're through the wall, if a Gus Gus and Love are going to fall back and say, okay, we're not getting involved here. Same goes for Sophia, who's playing defense, um, or Namo and Sola. So I don't know if they're going to pull back. So that's sort of something to keep in mind when it comes to whether it's likely or not, but I would like to see it. I think Nanatona versus Love would be cool. Or another thing that would be cool, we got this introduction to Namo and Sola, and they were saying, you know, we're really, really strong when we're together. I think it would be cool if they were split, like one of them gets picked by Yasracha to go against, say, Nanatona, since they're just a ranker, not a high ranker. And they would have to prove themselves individually, we would get to know them more, uh, we'd get more individual development if CU decides to keep their characters around. So while my first choice for the battle against Nanatona is love, and I wouldn't be like fully, totally, adamantly against it being bomb like a lot of people want, um, I think Namo or Sola would be a good second choice behind Mule Love. Um, one that I'd really like to see, because we got a little bit of a clash between them way back at the Wall of Peaceful Coexistence, would be Yu Hansung versus Hasacha. I want Yu Hansung just to get a 1v1 fight. I want more development, more attention for Yu Hansung because I love the character. So Yu Hansung versus Hasacha, I think would be good. And as for Hiracha, I think it would be hilarious to have Hiracha er, versus Karaka. 
um, because Arachis is just such a boisterous, wanting to fight sort of character. And Karaka is a defensive character, but also it gives Karaka a chance to fight a high ranker, to prove himself on that high ranker stage, and just get some feats under his belt. So I think Karaka versus Haracha would be a good pairing. The only thing is, I'm disappointed that Jordan is one of Yisracha's hostages because of Haracha's personality and Jordan's personality. Haracha versus Jordan being sort of like the hype man canine person versus the hype man feline person would be such a hilarious fight. I would love to see Haracha versus Jordan. And it would give, again, Jordan a chance to step up and see what he can do against a high ranker. Because again, I've had people say in my comments that when you look at what they've accomplished, Jordan is actually one of the most successful advanced rankers we've seen that's not actually a high ranker. Um, so just because of their personalities, really, I think that would be a hilarious fight if at some point during all of this mess, Jordan gets freed from his mind control and is allowed to fight Haracha. I just want to see that at some point because I think it would be so funny and entertaining. And if that did happen, then though I do want to see Yuan Sung versus Hasacha, uh, Verdish versus Has er, versus Hasacha would also be a cool matchup, just because Hasacha is this, um, I believe, the only female commander Yasracha has that we know is confirmed female at least. Who knows what Fuchil may look like under the armor or anything, um, or who knows Nanatona's gender really. Um, but yeah, Hasacha versus Burdish, and Burdish being the strongest, most highly ranked um, female canine person that we know of, I think that would be a good matchup. Um, now, as for Fuchil, who they would fight, I think they'd be an interesting fight for Doom or Paul, either one. It could either it could go one of two ways, depending on how CU wanted to ride it. It could either be Doom versus Fuchil, and Fuchil is still young and new and trying to prove himself to Yasracha, whereas Doom is just getting back from having been woken up and everything and is like, okay, I need to get this fight down, I need to get a win, I need to prove myself that I was in the top 200 before, I need to prove myself here uh, that I still got it. Or we could have Paul and Fuchil in a similar place, where Paul is like, I'm the youngest brother, I'm the most slept on brother, I need to step my game up and prove that I can stand alongside Doom and Yama, and Fuchil again is trying to do the same thing, he's like, I'm younger, I'm newer, and I'm um, trying to prove myself to Yasracha. So Paul and Fuchil would kind of be in a similar position, both trying to prove themselves. Um, so yeah, do more Paul against him, I think would be good. Um, now, as for Kendrick Deal, I think if Augustus doesn't fall back, Augustus versus Kendrick Deal, I would love to see. I want to see Augustus fight. His power is so cool looking. Uh, if not, I guess White. Just let White fight him. Um, that's fair enough. Or whoever, Doom or Paul, that didn't fight Fuchil, let them fight him. Um, either way, it's not really that big of a thing, I guess. Uh, as for Mick Cage, we Mick Cage is the only one that's a high-ranking member of Squadron 5 that we didn't see in that final panel there. I don't think we saw in that last chapter at all. Uh, but if Mick Cage is there and if they're getting a fight, I'm just going to say White because White is kind of the strongest Team Bomb member we know of at the current moment. Um, and though he's the strongest, I'm putting him against the second in command because Yama's got to fight Yusracha. Like, that that one's kind of obvious. That's got to happen. Um, so White versus Mick Cage could happen. Now, could Cha or Dewan fight Nanatona or Kendrick or Mick Cage? They totally could. I didn't really factor them into any of these fights because so far Cha and Dewan's main thing has been kind of doing nothing and it would be kind of wrong of me to predict that they do anything other than continue to do next to nothing. Um, so I didn't factor Cha or Dewan into any of these fights. But they could fight McCage. White could just say, I'm taking a break. And they could fight McCage. They could fight Kendrick Deal instead of Augustus. If they pull back, they could fight 
Nanatona, if Love and Nama or Namo and Soul are like, eh, we're out of here too. <clears throat> we're out of here too. Um, and then lastly is just the obvious one. Yisrach is going to be fought by Yama. That's got to happen. Nobody else needs to have this fight. That's. I really hope that Kalavan's group does move on and goes and fights the fourth squadron because there's a lot of really cool story to tell there that could really develop Kalavan and the people who were with him, like I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, but also just because I feel like the battle against Yusracha's group is something that needs to be won by the canine people and their friends. I feel like getting help from somebody has, who is as OP powerful as Kalavan kind of lessens the victory a little bit. I think it needs to be something that's an FUG thing, that's a Yama thing. I think Yama and friends needs to be the one who takes down Yasracha and friends. Uh, so yeah, that's where I am with these not really predictions. Um, because sadly, some of these fights I doubt will be um, correct. But these are just the sort of lineup of fights that I most would like to see personally. Uh, so let me know if you disagree, if you think there's a really good story that could be told by two other characters that maybe I haven't even thought of before. Um, if there are any fights you would like to see, just tell me down in the comments or we can all talk about it there. Uh, but yeah, I guess either way, that is it. Um, like if you did like the video, comment down there. Again, tell me what you think of my sort of lineup, or what would your lineup be? Who do you think would be a good fight for who? Um, anything like that. Subscribe for more Tower of God, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. If you want to link to the Discord server, ask and I'll give you one. If you would like to, um, wait... If you'd like a link to the Discord server, ask and I'll give you one. If you'd like to help support the channel on Patreon, to help me keep making these videos, it's patreon.com slash of the tubes, or a link will be in the description. But that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.